Broadcasting live from the Jersey Shore, it's Coach Kev on the Damage 365 Radio Network. Hey folks, welcome back to another episode here of the Indie Super Show, being proudly played on the Damage 365 Radio Network, the Spreaker Radio Network, and of course, iHeart Radio. This is Coach Kev, welcome to the show, episode number two of this beautiful yet cold thus far 2018. Today we got a great show, we're going to talk a little bit today with a promoter named Jeff Lull. He owns a company called Mania Marketing and he will be bringing in former WWE legend the genius Lanny Poffo to this year's WrestleCon in New Orleans, Louisiana. So that should be a really cool time. Uh, We've worked with Lanny in the past. We know that he has some awesome stories. He's definitely uh, entertaining to say the least. And uh, a very good guy to work with, and a great guy for the fans. He loves to uh, take pictures with the fans and let the fans take pictures with uh, his late brother, the Macho Man Randy Savage's Hall of Fame ring. So that's a cool photo op to look forward to at WrestleCon this year. Uh, We also have some other stuff we'd like to talk about, little uh, indie wrestling shows that are coming up this um, weekend and next and of course, what would be a week of this show without uh, a promoter that, of course, can't do the right thing by anybody and, you know, runs mouths and starts trouble. So we'll get into a new, new uh, what is it, Wait, Northeast, yeah, sorry, NEW, Northeast Wrestling, and a promoter by the name of Mike Lombardi, uh, which is his fake name, his real name is Mike O'Brien, and uh, he is no stranger to controversy and no stranger to uh, giving people a hard time and lying, so we will get into that, and right now we'll you know, take our first commercial break, get that out of the way early so we can talk to Lonnie and Jeff, and, uh, and then come back, we'll be joined a little later on by RDB Promotions' Richie DeGreg. Uh, he had a run-in with Mike Lombardi, so uh, we'll talk to him regarding that and um, his WrestleFest show. And by no means am I telling anybody to not go to Northeast Wrestling or not go to WrestleFest. That's not what this is about. We always support the boys in the back, the girls in the back. We always support conventions and fan fests and things like that, but there's so much more that goes on behind the scenes that, you know, gives hardworking people a bad name when you got a few bad apples. So, um, and no, that's not a Matt McIntosh reference either. Sorry. But, uh, yeah, let's take a commercial break. We'll be back in about uh, five, five and a half minutes, and we'll be back with uh, Lonnie Palfo and Jeff Lowe of Mania Marketing. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. Sky Wrestling Superstore in the world famous English Town Flea Market. Blue Building, booths 46 through 48. Check them out for all your wrestling memorabilia needs. They have figures, lucha masks, t shirts, retro collectibles, DVDs, cards, and so much more. You can also pick up tickets to local indie wrestling promotions. That's right, you heard it here on the Damage 365 Radio Network, the Funkenstein Wrestling Superstore in the world-famous English Town Flea Market Blue Building, booths 46, 47, and 48. Check them out on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Funkenstein Inc. 
for more information. This is Eddie Edwards, one half of the Wolves, and you are listening to Damage 365 Radio, where the hunt is on. Do you laugh so hard to other podcasts you are a danger on the road? Granny shifting, not double clutching like you should. Do you drive your friends crazy going on and on about said podcasts? You're an idiot. Do you have trouble falling asleep at night? For six months. I couldn't sleep. If you've answered yes to one or all three of these questions, have no fear. Here, at After the Credits, we have patented a formula of quasi-cogent opinion seasoned with shameless in-bickering to provide you with an experience that is both AAA safe and moderately amusing. So join the dueling duo of Robert Kajowski and Norton every week for the latest in trailer and movie reviews, as well as the occasional TV talk. Because at After the Credits on Damage 365 Radio, we believe in four things. One is wet, the sky is blue, women have secrets. And that listening to our show will guarantee that your insurance premiums will plummet. Neither Robert nor Dorton can legally ensure a smooth experience on the road. Some drivers are chess monsters. Additionally, neither After the Credits nor Damage 365 Radio can legally guarantee any insurance premiums will go down. After the Credits, however, can be heard on the iHeartRadio app available through Google Play and iTunes. This is Lanny Poffo, formerly the genius full of glory and renown. You are listening to Damage 365 Radio. Esposito's Pizza and Pasta. Check us out of one of our fine locations, 930 Route 34 in Matawan, New Jersey, or 233 East Main Street in Manasquan, New Jersey. From pizza and salads to pasta and buffalo wings, we have something to suit every member of your family. Whether you're seeking to take out, delivery, or just want to dine in, let us do the dishes. We would be more than happy to take care of your next meal. Our courteous and friendly restaurant staff is here to meet and exceed all your expectations. We promise an enjoyable experience each and every time we serve you. Try our award-winning Sesame Seed Crust Pizza, the recent winner of first place in the Las Vegas Pizza Open in the Artisan's Division. Visit us online at sesameseedpizza.com for store hours, menus, and phone numbers or just stop by one of our two great locations, you'll be glad you did. Esposito's Pizza and Pasta, so close to eating at Mom's, but without all the yelling. This is former WWE superstar Damian Sandow, now known as Aaron Stevens, and you're listening to Damage 365 Radio. Keep it tuned. You're welcome. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. Hey, guys. Welcome back. And uh, we're joined at this time by WWE legend Lanny Poffo and his uh, booking agent for WrestleCon with Mania Marketing, Jeff Wall. Uh, first, uh, Lanny, welcome back to the show. We're glad to have you back. Oh, thank you very much. I missed you guys. Uh, you guys are good for the sport. <laughs> thank you. And uh, Jeff, uh, your first time here. Uh, welcome to the show. Finally get to speak to you in person uh, and... Uh, not just a uh, Facebook instant messenger. Yeah, thank you for having me, Kevin. Oh, no problem, no problem. We're always uh, here to help other promoters, despite the uh, the bad reputation that uh, everybody thinks that this business is so cutthroat and everybody's out to kill each other. And we just oh, yeah. prove that wrong every single time. Uh, we send each other stuff in the mail. We hook each other up with signings and uh, – you know any merchandise yeah. that we have that we can help another promoter using the same uh, same guests. We uh, we like to help out things like that, and of course having them on the show to help promote 
them selfishly, of course, you know. I mean, I can sit here and talk about myself for for an hour every single week and and bore everybody and probably have three people listening. But instead, I like to use the platform to help everybody else. And with that said, uh, this coming April, uh, we would which would be uh, April sixth through the eighth in New Orleans at the Sheridan of New Orleans. WrestleCon will be uh, holding yet another fabulous, gigantic convention, and uh, you'll be bringing in Lanny Poffo. So uh, we'll speak to Lanny real quick because uh, well, we don't want you know get into the, the career of Lanny. We we've done that before, and uh, we've had Lanny out on tour with us, and he's gave us some awesome car stories, kept us all entertained, especially the ladies, and. Uh, but we want to talk about WrestleCon and um, how many how many times have you been there in the past, Lonnie? I didn't count, but I'm pretty sure about eight of them. About eight of them, okay. And you you were at the one in Orlando last year. Yes, I definitely was. So so tell us a little bit about your your experience with fan interactions at these uh, at the WrestleCon. You know, because, you know, local ones, you'll get 400, 500 people. You kind of see, if you go to the same ones every year, you see the same people every year. This one is like an international gathering, uh, to say the least. So, which some of your, you know, your interaction and maybe opinions you can give somebody going for the first time? Well, what I'm going to tell you is don't be shy. (laughs) Come on up to me. And you're not going to just get a picture with me. I bring my brother's Hall of Fame ring, and I take it off my finger. I put it on yours. You make a fist and point it toward the camera, and now you don't just have a picture. You've got a keepsake. Yes. Of course, I want the ring back, <laughs> and uh, you know. But I'm just saying. Um, see, I used to be a wrestling fan, so I know what I would have wanted. Uh, it's it's a keepsake. It's an heirloom. It's something special. Uh, I am the brother of the Macho Man, Randy Savage, and I'm going to represent him as best I can. I accepted the Hall of Fame award for my brother um, because of the Macho fans, not for the Macho Man. He didn't want it. He enjoyed not being in the Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought that was ridiculous. I had to do it for the Macho fan. And uh, there's millions of those, just one of the Macho Man. So I'm I'm bringing my ring. I'm taking it off. We'll take a picture together, and that's a real picture that you can be proud of. I agree. Absolutely. I mean, I've seen you do this in person, and uh, for people who don't know that you do this, it was such a shock on their face and the smile from ear to ear. They, they got to take that photo op with, uh, you know, with, the, with your fist out, with the ring on, and, you know... Have any has anybody come back with a, a printed out of that photo and asked you to sign that at a later date? Yes, they have. You know, and uh, the funny thing is, um, whether I have the ring on uh, upside down or right side up, <laughs> it's either a W for the World uh, Wrestling Entertainment or it's an M for the Macho Man. Very nice. Don't don't tell the Miz that because he'll he'll just say it's you know his ring. So. But we won't go there. Okay, I get the picture. <laughs> so uh, we're going to skip over to Jeff. Um, Jeff, how, is this your first WrestleCon, or have you done this before? Well, this is my first WrestleCon by myself. I've uh, been out there last year in Orlando with uh, T-Mart Productions, helping them out, bringing talent back and forth from the airport, okay. and, and just learning the basics of everything. Oh, so you work you work with Martin, right? Yeah, Martin's a good guy. Uh, very savvy businessman. Uh, been in this business a while. Uh, him and I have uh, done some, some you know, bit, not business as far as bookings, but uh, you know, we hook each other up with stuff. And he's a good guy. Uh, also, yeah. a, ver- a native yeah. Staten Islander like myself, uh, out in New York. Yeah. <laughs> so, he's, also, he's also about to. He's also about to retire too. So I want to wish him the best of luck. Oh, there you go. There you go. Good luck. Mm-hmm. So, uh, what are you looking forward to most about now going in solo as Mania Market?